coming up, we're talking about why some people really like the facial hair, and sometimes, unfortunately, you get the bad rap for it. Well, that's true. I mean, look at these. I mean, why would someone give you a bad time about this? <laughs> You know, coming up tonight is the Stash Bash. It's a, a perfect time to grow that mustache or glue one onto your upper lip there and come out with some fun here. We're going to tell you all about the details about tonight's event after the break. It's the mustache. Ah, the mustache. It's like having a pet on your face. Today. What better way to celebrate the hair on your face than the annual Stash Bash? In fact, joining me now is Dr. Aaron Perlett from the American Mustache Institute here to talk to us all about Stash Bash. Now, we say annual, but this is actually the first year it's here in the Phoenix Valley. Yeah, uh, it's it historically been held in St. Louis because it's home of the world's largest mustache, the Gateway Arch. <laughs> uh, last year was the first year we took it on the road to Chicago, and this year we uh, asked our Arizona chapter of the American Mustache Institute if they would be kind enough to host it, and, and they are going to host it in downtown Mesa. And you were telling me this is all about the discrimination against the mustache. Yeah, you know, people of mustache American descent have faced discrimination really at every turn. Um, whether you look across the political or business landscape, leadership, very few mustached Americans are in positions of leadership and, and uh, you know, we're trying to face on some of the unfortunate stereotypes that have plagued our people for years. And, and again, I want to point out, this is not really a joke, even though it, it seems no, like it could no, be, but uh, this, is, this is serious. Uh, although what, it's a wall trimmer. It's, it's a wall trimmer that I've been using. It's uh, <laughs> a wall trimmer? You, you see this? But it, no, let, are, uh, listen, well. it, I can't grow anything, okay. so there's nothing to shave off my face okay. anyway. No, you look good. You look, well, you're weak, but good. Weak because I don't have the mustache? Yeah, I mean, it's, science has proven that a mustache improves good looks by 38%. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, we've got some uh, some volunteers here. In fact, the ladies are, are not trying to look weak at all. They've decided to grow mustache in, in honor of Stash Bash. What do you what do you ladies let me sneak by you? What do you think about the whole idea? Um, I love it. Yeah. I have sunglasses that have it connected to. Do you really? Yeah. So not a disguise? No. It's just what you wear on a normal. Pretty yeah? much. All right. What about you? Yours yours doesn't look fake at all. Uh, this is very very much real. <laughs> um, it's very powerful. Don't look directly into it. Don't don't. <laughs> Watch out. And, and your thoughts? I I love it. I love a man with a good mustache. Okay. I'm not, I don't discriminate. You know, it's funny that you bring that up. A lot of people are seem to be kind of getting into it, and a lot of the yeah. the women out there I've noticed seem to really like the mustache. It's interesting. We were having dinner in Scottsdale last night, and our bartender had a mustache tattoo. But over the last five or six years, you've seen a definite trend, uh, you know, upwards of the popularity of mustaches, both amongst men and women, which is of equal importance because typically, if your wife or spouse. Right. Uh, a girlfriend, they, if they don't like mustaches, you're probably going to stay away from it. Right, right, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so talk to us about the stash bash. It's tonight. Sure, uh, it's it's tonight. Uh, it, it's the centerpiece of the downtown Mesa's Nightmare on Main Street. It's going to be at Monsterland, right okay. on, uh, in downtown. It's uh, presented by Wall Trimmers, and uh, it's a charitable benefit as well. Um, it costs $15 to get in, but okay. it benefits the Barrow Neurological Foundation because uh, every time, everything the American Mustache Institute does it has a charitable component to it. Now, people at home might be thinking, well, I don't have a mustache, so I can't go. We will have free mustaches for everyone that comes there. Uh -huh. uh, so good looks all around, and we'll be celebrating that sexually dynamic mustached American lifestyle at every turn. If you want a sexually dynamic lifestyle, you go to the Stash Bash tonight. Hey, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for coming appreciate in here. Thank you. Very cool. Very interesting. All right, coming up here on Good Morning Arizona, we've got a fresh look of the news coming up, including an update on a story we've heard.